The Arbequina olive tree has been rediscovered in the past century nearby the village of Arbeca in the Catalonian county of Les Garrigues, not far from the Ebro River. Oil from these olives has a fruity and nutty taste with a peppery accent and a delicate, very mild aftertaste. According to legend, the Dukes of Medicinelli, Lords of Arbeca, brought the first seeds from a crusade to Jerusalem during the early Middle Ages, which resulted in a prosperous olive oil production. However, in the 19th century, this production came to a halt because the farmers could not compete any longer with the quite pungent but far cheaper olive oil from Andalusia in southern Spain. I'm Hans de Roos, my wife is Daida. We are married to each other for over 40 years. In 1977, we bought the ruins of Cansolivera, a nearby 1,000-year-old Catalonian stone farmhouse situated in the county of Baix Empordà, part of the Costa Brava, in which nobody had lived for over a hundred years. In 1989, I retired from international business life to rest in the meanwhile restored place. It panned out completely otherwise. We are now very busy making fine olive oils and a unique olive oil soap derived from Arbequina olives, which we are selling throughout the world. It started with the foundation of a small olive grove on the grounds of Cansolivera. As for the olive variety, we choose deliberately for taste, not yield. One kilo of Arbequina olives produces namely half the oil you can press from a kilo of Andalusian Piqual or Italian Frantoia. Arbequina olives are small and round and can be harvested quite early, starting end of October. The moment of picking is important for the taste. When the olives are still mainly green and pink, the resulting oil will be green and extra fruity. At Cansolivera, given the weather, we opt for an early harvest in spite of the extra loss of yield as a result. We call this oil 100% extra Arbequina premium quality. The harvest of the olives is done in a semi-manual way. We make use of a pneumatic lens which shakes branch by branch. This vibration method spares the tree and causes no damage to the fruits. The tractor provides the air pressure to which tree lenses are connected. It needs to be moved to keep even pace with the lenses. But firstly, a finely maced net, the so-called matta, needs to be spread out beneath the trees in order to prevent the freshly harvested olives to mix with the fruits fallen to the ground a day or so earlier because of the wind. The mantas are emptied into fruit cases and tucked to the next tree. Every year there are many friends who help out the main crew of Canso Oliveira with the harvest. Many hands make light work, they say, but it's still hard labor. The fruit cases are assembled a few times per day on a small trailer and brought to a central place. There they are emptied into big bags, only filled half in order to prevent crushing of the olives. 
olives which are bruised or crushed in an early stage could have a negative influence on the taste and aroma of the oil. At nightfall, the big bags are loaded on a truck. The next day they must be delivered to the mill before dawn, and the distance to the town of Pau near Figueras is more than 50 kilometers, which means early riding. Council Oliveira agreed with the mill of Pau that her olives will be discharged first when opening at 8 o'clock in the morning. The entire installation is then neat and spotless because it is cleaned every evening with steam and hot water. The Farmers' Cooperative Olive Oil Mill of Pau is the most modern of the entire Girona province. There is a two-phase centrifuge of stainless steel made by the Italian firm of Piero Lisi. The big bags are emptied into a chute and the mechanical stairs lift the olives toward a fan where twigs and leaves are blown away. Then the olives are thoroughly washed with clean water. After putting to the scale, the fruits are crushed to pulp, pits and all. No water is added to the pulp, we call it pasta, because green arbequina olives contain moisture enough. The temperature of the pasta may never exceed 27 centigrade. That's the rule for the first cold extraction. The pasta is pumped to the first centrifuge in which the liquid is separated from the solid stuff. Subsequently, the liquid is pumped to a second centrifuge, while the pure olive oil is separated from the fruit of water called alpecin. The olive oil-rich solid stuff or cake called orujo is removed sideways and sold as a waste product to the big industrial distilleries. When Consolivera olives are crushed in the middle of Pau, the resulting oil is never directed to the central storage tanks but instead collected in containers of 650 liters, which belong to Cansolivera. These containers are then collected by Cansolivera for further processing. Hey. The PAU containers are only a small part of the total olive oil production of Cansolivera. Most of our olive oil now comes from the Xinca and Ebro river valleys, 350 kilometers south of Girona. A few years ago, a number of farmers near the village of Ribarocha resumed harvesting their often 300 years old and eclected olive trees in concertation with Cansolivera. Nearby these olive groves, Antonio operates a traditional stone mill which presses the olives in a medieval way, perhaps one of the eight remaining in Spain. The pasta is spread on circular straw mats called capachos. A hydraulic press, still real water, 
compresses the liquid sideways out of a pile of 30 to 40 mats. The cake or orujo remains in the mats. The liquid is collected in large cisterns of masonry in which the oil is separated from the fruit water by gravity. This timeless process is not as efficient as the modern centrifuge method, but according to many connoisseurs, the flavor and taste of the olive oil is better preserved. Meanwhile, several ancient olive groves, mostly situated on the higher grounds of the Ebro Valley and the surrounding mountains, have managed to obtain the official European Certificate of Organic Agriculture. It helped that no agricultural chemicals were used during centuries. We call the resulting olive oil wild olive oil. We call the oil from olives growing on the lower grounds Arbequina and Empeltre because one out of four five trees belong to the Aragonese and Peltre variety grown from seeds dropped by the birds. All freshly pressed olive oil is turbid. That's because tiny particles of fruit pulp always come along. At Consolivera we abstain from the use of artificial filters which tend to flatten the original taste and aroma. Indeed, many experts prefer turbid olive oil, also called Novello olive oil, above clear olive oil. Anyway, after a couple of months, most particles have slowly boiled to the bottom and the olive oil has become perfectly transparent. The sediment on the bottom forms a fine base for the production of our unique olive oil soap. We bottle our oil with a special machine provided with verified electronic scales. The corking is done by hand. The plastic sleeve which seals it is shrunk by means of a simple hair dryer. Also the labeling at Cancelivera is done completely by hand. Quite a time consuming job, but it has the advantage that all bottles are checked one by one. Our olive oil soap is unique because the fat component of the soap consists of extra virgin olive oil only and we applied the cold process. Nobody does that. The advantage of using expensive fresh extra virgin olive oil lies in the health aspect. Only fresh olive oil contains a scala of vitamins, antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents. Apart from these, an olive oil tree produces more squalene than any other plant in the world. Squalene is known to fight some forms of cancer but only fresh and cold processed olive oil holds squalene. I thank you very much for your attention and wish you a happy day.